Hello, I'm Nugsy, and this is Cheap Astro. Now, for astrophotography, I'm pretty lucky to live under Bortle 4 skies in the rolling green fields of Southern Ireland. I'm not quite so lucky in that I live in a mobile home, and I'm poor. Well, first world poor. You know, I eat. But I'm still making astrophotography work for me, and I'm going to continue making videos showing how. But in this one, I'm going to concentrate on my imaging platform. My last video showed about making DIY piers, and it showed my own pier. But this pier was built a bit too high to use from the ground, so I had to come up with some sort of platform to allow me to get access to it, get up there and use the thing. And because I'm all about cheap or possibly free, I was initially looking at just pulling some pallets apart and making it out of those. However, my landlord, the farmer, very kind fella, said there's a bunch of old wood up in that loft over there, why don't you go and have a look, take what you want. It's old shuttering and there was like concrete on there and all, it needed cleaning up. But it wasn't rotten, it was good wood, so I did, I cleaned, took it, cleaned it up and made this whole platform out of it. This raises me up and above the pier without actually being in contact with the pier. There's a hole in the middle that the pier comes up through. So I can walk around this platform without introducing any vibrations. This platform also allows me to keep the mount on the pier permanently. I use a tarpaulin for the roof, but I also have a bag covering the mount when it's not in use, which when I say bag, it's actually a barbecue kettle cover. Now this may look feeble but there's been some pretty gusty winds out here and it's been fine. It might get a bit noisy sometimes flapping in the wind but I've not lost the tarpaulin yet. So let me show you how this works. Let me show you around it. Under the tarpaulin cover and holding the roof's shape is just a frame made of two by one that is just held in position with bungees and down the bottom there's a series of holes for adjustable height held onto a nail very simple at the back there's a scaffold pole within the tarp this weights the tarpaulin down and aids in my opening the roof You'll also see I've put some batten along the edges of the tarp to keep it straight. Inside it is wired for electrics. I have a single outdoor power outlet. And I have run cables, one end of which are held in like an old Tupperware tub. And that then runs under the floor and back up the pier for the other end to plug into the mount and camera. This blue flooring stuff is actually underlay from an old um, astroturf pitch that somehow this farmer ended up with big rolls of the stuff so yes I was able to use that. So now I've removed the bungee cords and I'm going to show you opening the roof. It opens one-handed the weight of the scaffold pole just helps it slide on it I want to climb up on top then. The 2x1 batten along the edge of the tarp sits against the frame as stage 1. I can unclip that frame. And roll it back into its little cradle. There's just a couple of simple metal clips on which it sits. And that's it, open. That little tool case you see there, I built a shelf for in the corner. Because when I put it up there and open it up, it reveals mission control. 
and this is basically it for setting up for imaging for the night. Basically I put a false floor made of thin plywood into this tool case, cut a hole slash cradle for the old laptop to sit in and when I say old laptop it's actually a netbook used to run Windows XP that's how good and powerful it is I've upgraded it from 1.8 to 2.1 gigahertz on the CPU and from 2 gig of RAM to 4 gig so it doesn't take much of a PC to do this also within the case is my telescope controller the on step controller that I've made and there will be a whole separate video showing how I made that it will be long, it will be boring, but it will be handy to anyone willing to take on that. Now once everything is plugged in, i just got RA and DEC in there, the uh, power for the camera, the USBs for the camera and dew heater plug in here, I've got a USB hub, all sorts. It all runs through to the other end, where at the pier end, plugs are dangling at the minute because I haven't got my scope and camera on there but this is just for show purposes once I'm done for the night I unplug everything coil the main power cable back in to the case close up the laptop close up the lid clip it shut and walk away and then when it comes to closing up for the night it's just as simple as it was to open I just pull that whole frame up into the vertical position and with the little catches on the side that snaps into position. I then pull the tarp a bit further, step outside, pull it all the way down and that'll sit under the lip and then I can just bungee it back down. So yeah that's my imaging platform. As I said at the start, it was necessary because of the height of the pier. It may not be necessary to do this sort of platform for yourself. All you really need if you want to keep your mount on there at all times so as to remain polar aligned is a nice heavy duty waterproof and sunproof, weatherproof in general, cover. You can construct some sort of tent around it, whatever it takes. There's all sorts of options. Who needs an observatory? Um, me. No, but I would like one. In fact, um, should a really cheap or free garden shed or just sheet material come up in the future, I probably will wrap this up and turn it into a proper full-blown observatory. If and when that happens, I'll be sure to document it and show you. In the meantime, if you've any questions, pop them in the comments below. I shall endeavour to answer everything put in there. But for now, that's it from me. I'm out. Thanks for watching, and clear skies, everybody. <laughs>